Welcome to a vlog. Happy Monday. Today's Monday. We have to run some errands, y'all. We have to run some errands. I feel like my glasses is crooked, are they? I sat on them, so they're probably crooked. But uh, we are running some errands real quick because I have to go to Target. I have to go to Ulta. I gotta go to the Dollar Tree. I gotta go to Walmart. And I gotta go to the Beauce Blast. The only one that's out the way is Walmart. I just dropped off the girls to school because it's 25 degrees outside like 26 let me check the real temperature it's 31 now it's 31 degrees right now which is not too too bad but still cold 31 degrees and i told my older girls if you guys are new here because i am getting new subscribers so thank you guys so much for joining the fam and, and subscribing we have three girls 14 13 5 year olds so we're blended family my 13 year old is my stepdaughter so they're not twins they're close in age, but they're not twins. But she's my stepdaughter, so I raised her ever since she was two or three. So she, I don't call her my stepdaughter. She calls me mom. Like we, that's just our relationship. So yeah. But anyways, I took the older girls to school because they were cold, and usually they take the bus. But I'm like, whatever. I can drive you guys to school. It's not far. Macy's a car rider automatically. She doesn't take the bus. But I was like, I'll drive the older girls to school. Y'all, as moms and parents of teenagers, I don't know what I'm gonna do because they, I don't know what's going on with their heads for time. My daughter was getting out the car, my older daughter. She was getting out the car and her book bag was half open, stuff falling out, laptop sliding, just all over the place. She done left her bag of shoes in the car. You try to tell them stuff, you try to teach them and tell them stuff like, hey, why don't you just slow down or like get yourself together. They be like, I don't know, I got this and I don't need that. Like, they don't listen. They don't listen. And me as a parent, it's hard because it's hard to watch my kids like make certain mistakes because I know like what they should be doing. I'm like, you should not be doing this let me teach you but they're gonna learn the hard way they're gonna learn their way and it's just like such a hard thing for me as a parent to do because I'm like why don't you just do it the way I tell you <laughs> but I thank God because our children are not like super perfect but they are very good kids they are very very good kids especially because around this age me I was already in juvenile detention I was in foster care like it was a rough time for me growing up so the fact that my kids aren't nowhere near that, I am very thankful, very grateful and very thankful because we don't experience a lot of things that my mom went through and our parents went through. Same thing with, you know, my husband, his parents, like they didn't have, our, we're not experiencing any of those rough moments with our children. And like, keep it real, like 14 year olds nowadays, teenagers, they're like a different breed. Like they are like, got the lace wigs nails eyelashes like you know louis bags like they're different so i'm very grateful and thankful that my husband and i aren't experiencing that part of it or like the part that my parents experienced with me being just a delinquent kid but i will say the fact that they are just like sometimes don't listen to us and you can you just know like they're gonna have to learn the hard way. They're gonna have to learn their own way. Like they're gonna have to learn because when I try to tell them, they don't listen. They don't listen. They don't listen. Our kids wake up early, right? They don't have a problem with waking up for school. But my thing is, if you're waking up early, you should not be behind on anything. Like you should not be scrambling, trying to get out the door because you have like hours to get ready. <laughs> they just be getting ready. They be on that game probably, on the phone, and don't be focusing, child. I try to tell them like, you need to like focus 
put the phone down don't play the game make sure you get this out before the night before for all of my moms who have teenagers what are we gonna do right there's nothing we can do but guide them as much as we can and pray <laughs> today is macy's award ceremony so i just need to go to target to grab a couple of things but um i need to stop by dollar tree because i'm gonna get her a couple balloons but yeah i will see you guys once we get there they're five dollars and I have a um, raggedy cart, you guys. Sorry. They have these as well. But I don't know the point of these. I saw these t shirts. Oh, they're only for like kids, though. Extra small. It's 12 months. Yeah, they don't have the shirts for Macy's size. Look at this. I can't even get Macy anything like this. She'll say it's itchy. It's only twelve dollars. Oh, but they don't have. No. They got the pants, but they don't have the shirt. Do y'all hear my cart? I have all the Black History Month stuff. Oh, I wanted to see if they have a book. Oh my God, they're all gone. I'm late to the game. I haven't been in Target in a minute, so. And when I mean a minute, I mean like. Oh, I wanted to get Macy this one. Love, hair love ABCs. I'm gonna get this for Macy. I, w I really wanted that book. But they have all the black history stuff. But it's all gone. I really wanted to get one of those, um, this is nice, but I definitely missed the memo. <laughs> I saw that Target had like all their stuff out here, but I missed it. Clearly I'm late, so that kind of sucks, but. I've been wanting a pair of these and I feel like if I wait, they're not gonna be here. Even though my toes are nowhere near done. I know everyone had these like last year, but I don't have like a sandal. And they even have like the dupe, like Christian Dior. These are cute too. They have this color too, like the wolfen color, like for beach bass, basketball. No, I'm over this kind of look. I don't know, I'm over these. Y'all, I'm not finding anything in Target. I have like a whole list of like stuff to get for like Macy, but I'm not finding anything. So I'm just gonna get the rest of our list and go home. cannot function mm. so target was a fail like you know how you go to target and sometimes you be finding a lot of stuff and then sometimes you just don't find anything that was today i had a lot of things on my list and i was like okay none of this stuff i can get but it's okay that's just god telling me like girl save your money for that down payment for the house that i'm about to bless you with okay anyways i did get strawberries i got fruits i got strawberries I got some organic bananas. I got uh, blueberries. And then, is that it? Strawberries, blueberries, bananas. I think that's it. I got some marshmallows because we still got leftover chocolate and graham crackers to make more s'mores. I had to get more poppy. So I got more poppy. And I got some guacamole. I never, well, I never got this guacamole. I don't think. But I got some more guac. And that's that. And then I got me see this book. I told you guys before, but I don't think I went into depth. Mind you, I was gonna get like a lot of stuff that they had out for Black History Month. Don't mind this. I'm taking my hair out today or tomorrow, depending on like how fast I can get it done. But 
my hair's just sticking out all these braids i'm tired these braids are too long they're getting in my way i just can't take them anymore but i got this book from the black history month um section and it was the last one this was $8.99 it's the alphabet book for hair so it's thick because they go through the alphabet so they have a is for afro b is for braids c is for conditioner d is for detangler how cute is this book macy is still learning about her hair um <laughs> when i take it out right before wash day out of her ponytails and she's like my hair looks so crazy i don't like my hair like this and i'm trying to tell her like teach her her natural hair even when i switch hairstyles i let her see my natural hair all the time and then of course i have weaves and wigs and braids and stuff so i just try to teach the girls more about their natural hair because all of my girls are natural they've never had a relaxer so this book is so exciting and then i was can i just rant real quick i ended up getting some underwear for macy but the colors if you guys can see the colors they're like um like pastel colors but they have like a bunch of characters on them and i just get so overstimulated in like the kids section sometimes because everything has characters and like patterns and i'm not like a full-blown beige mom but i do like muted stuff it's not that like i don't want my kids to not experience patterns and stuff but it makes it easy for the parent and I'm surprised no one thought about that yet. Like, I would love to mix and match Macy's clothes as much as possible. So, like, chill out on all the letters and patterns and stuff, okay? Because this shirt would have went good with these pants if it didn't have all the stuff all over it. Like, just calm down. Like, these underwear are cute, but we don't need a bunch of characters on stuff all the time. Like, sheesh. And then she needed more socks, so I ended up getting her these socks which i don't even know if this is her size to be quite honest but it looks like her size so these are from cat and jack and these are just regular regular socks with different patterns that's it so <sighs> that's all i got for her i'm gonna bring this upstairs and then for myself i ended up getting myself just a few pairs of underwears they were five dollars a piece let's be real and like real serious and lady okay grown uh, real quick during this portion of the video i have to have cotton because it's if y'all don't know about cotton for your lady part get you some cotton girl breathable cotton okay all that spandex and all that stuff ain't getting no air down there get you some cotton some cotton some nice little bikini um cotton blend that's what i get these are five dollars these are from auden um brand at uh target for five dollars i wish they sell like packs of these because these are so comfortable i wish they sold like the packs again i do not like a whole bunch i don't i stepped away from victoria's secret a long time ago or pink or whatever i don't do the whole a million um patterns and stuff and being all comfortable that ain't it and then <clears throat> how to get more gel for my brows because i ran out of the other one that's like you know those are like three dollars for the eyebrow gel from elf and then these right here olive and june oh these are the super sticky manny that's why these might be going back hold on beautiful nails they're like almond shape but then they have like a little bit of like manicure at the top these were only $7.99 they're just um, pick and peel and stick ones but if they don't have the peel sticky stuff on the actual nail then i'm yes they don't oh my gosh yes what a steal okay so these come with like the peel and stick scratch that i'm gonna use my regular degler nail glue my super nail glue that i have from my other um nails and look at all these they come with like a whole bunch of packs of these these are gonna be my go-to nails oh my gosh yes these are gonna be my go-to nails i was scared that they had the sticky stuff on the actual nail but they don't so i'm gonna use just regular glue buff them out so that they can stick better 
a little hack beautiful nude almondy manicure type nails just my vibe so that's all i got from target it is about to be it's 11 32 i'm about to hop in the shower real quick change put a dab of makeup on and get ready for macy's um ceremony her balloons are in the car so i'll be back y'all i'm dressed it is 1 12 right now waiting for my husband to get done and then we'll head over to macy's school here's my outfit this is just my mock neck turtleneck that i got from either shein or h&m mom jeans are for h&m my ultra mini uggs love these pants because they actually fit me versus like the other ones where the back would be like too protruding but these actually fit so these are like the mom jeans i think they're ultra high or straight leg or something like that but this is the outfit i gotta grab my coat and then you guys i feel like that eye cream is really doing this big one I think it's doing its big one. My impression of the product was that when you put it on, it alleviates the, you know, illusion of your bags. It lightens your under eyes, but that's only when you actually wear the product. But I think it improves your overall under eye baggage. I think. I haven't read up on it yet, but I'm hoping that's what it does. Cause even when I'm not using a product, when I'm looking at my under eyes, I'm like, they look a little better. Even when I don't have the product on. So I don't know. I don't know if my eyes is playing tricks on me or what, but I'm still wearing my glasses so that I can look decent. <laughs> Take these long braids out. I gotta go to the Walmart and to the beauty supply store after this. I'll probably film a little bit when we get there, but we'll see how it is. Like, we'll see. But I will catch up with you guys after this. We're back from Macy's award show ceremony she got her balloons and then she got two awards she got honor roll and reading yes show them your awards you got two awards honor roll student and reading All right, quick haul time from some stuff that i got for just like beauty and health care and all that i don't know guys i feel like i'm becoming a health girly i feel like i'm becoming some wellness girly and i'm not mad at it because i have fully emerged into things that i like what's my hair like fully emerged into things that i like on the tv a little bit so y'all can hear me but this is no particular order i'm just showing you guys what i ordered off of amazon Okay, this must be, oh, oh, I know what these are. So I have these glasses, right, right? So I'm actually happy I, I opened this first, but I have these glasses, but I went ahead and ordered another pair that's slightly different. And I was like, oh, I wanna try them out, but I was scared that they would look weird. Hopefully they don't. Oh, this is cool. They, they give you like, what is this? I never, what is this? I don't know. They give you a keychain. I don't know what this is. And a card. But I got some new glasses, if you can't tell already. Ooh, these are like wide. Let's see how they look, though. They look too big on my face. I always get like self conscious wearing wide glasses because my face is kind of slim. So let's see. All right. Oh. Ooh, I think I like these better. Oh, these are cute. I'm keeping these on. These are the other ones that I got from Claire's. They're like really reading glasses, but these are like more. And they're blue lit. If y'all can't tell, kind of like a blue hint. They're blue lit glasses, blue light glasses. I love them. Keeping them, keeping them, keeping them, keeping them, keeping them. All right. So first purchase, 10 out of 10, recommend. Okay, oh, I'm gonna say what? Okay. Our next bag, I got some more stuff coming tomorrow too, or one of these days, Wednesday. Okay, so y'all already know, read up on my vitamins. I'm probably about to take some because I did not take some today. Or should I just take some tomorrow? I probably just take them tomorrow because I'm gonna start I try to take them around the same time every day, and I usually take them right after my shower in the morning time. But I've been raving about these, not sponsored or anything. I am affiliated with Amazon, but you don't have to shop through my link. You can just shop regular Amazon. 
no, no beef, sis, no beef. But I am not sponsored by this company, Nature's Craft. I just love their gummies. It's hormonal balance gummies. If you ladies know, then you know. We be menstruating and our hormones are all over the place. Even after menstruating, if you're going to um, early menopause, per perimenopause, premenopause, all that. They do have like one specifically for menopause. This is just hormonal balance gummies all together. So I had to read up on them. Okay, so I'm so excited about this purchase too. The girls group that I'm a part of, they do a book every month and this book is one of the books that they picked out. And this is called A Happy Pocket Full of Money. And this is not just about money, it's about true wealth. Infinite wealth and abundance in the here and now. So I'm so excited. It does have affirmations in it where it says, I am wealth, I am abundance, I am joy. Um, so I'm, ex I'm really excited to read this. I know you guys commented on my last video about like speaking into existence. You guys were really responsive to my last video and talking about um, my last diary entry. I was talking about like, you know, just my purpose and what I expect with our uh, home buying process, like us speaking that into existence and manifestation and prayer, meditation, all that. So you guys really did a good job in responding well to that. So I'm so happy I have this book. It will be linked in my Amazon store because I'm excited to read it. Like I said, I did go to Ulta. This did not come from Ulta. This came from Walmart, but I just put it in my Ulta bag. This is TPH Watch Me Whip Vanilla Tuberose Body Cream. I'm so excited to try this. This is Taraji P. Henson. If you didn't know, TPH Taraji P. Henson body cream. I was looking at the um, Way St. Bart's one. It was like 7.5 ounces for almost $40. I'm like, excuse me? This is 10 ounces for like $10. I don't think so. So, oh, it has a, let me screw it off. Oh, oh well, I have to, mm. oh, that's nice. That is nice, it has the cap. So you don't screw it off, you actually um, open it like this, but the protector is on there, but that is nice, so, that is nice. Mm. So I'm excited, let me try a little bit like right here try this much on my finger and on my hands. It's body cream. Mm. You see the shine? Oh, and it smells good. Mm. Okay. So far, I'm loving my purchases. Okay, okay, okay. I got these, cause look at the heart. These are gonna be like my Valentine's Day nails. They're my favorite shape is like a medium small and I just think they're subtle like they're the perfect Valentine's Day press-ons so I got these so I'm like oh yeah I definitely want some press-ons for Valentine's Day I also got two lip balms okay so let's talk about this real quick um TikTok they're going crazy over like this whole lip gloss debacle with topical and I guess there's like a hate train I do not hate topicals. I like their uh, topical lip balm or whatever, but when it says balm, I'm thinking it's going to be a balm, but it's very sticky. There's nothing wrong with sticky. There's nothing wrong with sticky. If that's what you like, that's what you like. But personally, me, it's not an everyday wear because I do not like that like stickiness on my lips. That's not an everyday wear for me. Um, I don't like the stickiness like every day now it does last long it does last but i don't like it being sticky that's just not my thing so i'm trying the lip oil and then i'm also trying the squeeze me lip balm by elf so i'm going to try the lip balm first this is supposed to be like the dupe to dior you guys know these came out a while ago um i personally didn't like the dior one either <laughs> I don't know it's like hit or miss with these lip balms lip glosses because 
I feel like there's no perfect lip balm or lip gloss. I feel like you have several different ones to wear on different occasions. That's just how I feel. But in my perfect lip balm, I would have like high gloss shine with super lightweight formula that's not sticky that lasts all day. That's what I want. Is that too hard to ask? I guess so, because I haven't found the perfect one. We're gonna try this one. This is a clear one. Oh, see, this is this is what I don't necessarily like in my lip gloss. You see that? That's not what I like, but here we are. Let's just see. Oh. Mm. This one is minty like the topical one, but it's less sticky. So like there's not like much, you know, tension when I go like that. But it does have that sticky kind of effect when I pulled it out the tube. So I can deal with this. Like if I can wear this, like if I want to, mm, I can wear this going out, like running errands and stuff. I can definitely put this on and going out. It's definitely lightweight. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to last all day because just when I'm doing this, it's already like kind of like fading into my lips, but they still look moisturized. If y'all can tell, they're still moisturized, but um, I like this. I like this a lot, so I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 for right now. Just for the simple fact that off the bat, it's not super sticky like I thought it was going to be, and um, it feels super lightweight. Like, it feels like I have nothing on my lips. That's what I like. I'm going to try this one next. This is kind of small. This is very small. They're both small, but this lip balm seems like if you if you see if you can see through it, which you probably can't. Oh yeah, you see, that's how much product you're getting. So just to be real and you know real with y'all, this right here is no product. So let's see how this, this is. This is honeydew. I'm gonna squeeze it out some. Mmm, this smells really good. Mmm. So this is like your average true lip balm to me. Um, super lightweight, it's not sticky at all, and there's not much high shine. So this is like my everyday around the house lip balm. Going to bed, if I take a shower at nighttime, I want to put this on my lips. At nighttime, I want to put this on my lips or in the morning time, you know, like this is around the house. Like if I'm around the house and I, want, I don't want my lips dry. This I would definitely wear if I'm going out. I'm excited to read my book. I'm excited I got my vitamins back. So yeah, everything was pretty much a good purchase. Everything was pretty much a good purchase that I got. So I'm excited. I like when I buy stuff and it actually is worth it versus like me buying stuff and I gotta make a bunch of returns because I don't like anything. Yeah, they're blue. I keep saying blue lit, but blue light glasses, I just love them. They're so cute. Like they're so cute. I just freaking love them. Mm. Mm. But yeah, y'all, that's my haul. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. It is the next day. It's Tuesday. It's, what is it? The 23rd. It's the 23rd. So I just got my order from Sprouts. I did an order yesterday because I am so tired of going to the store, y'all. I've said this before, but like I stopped doing the whole like Instacart and stuff. But I'm like, I'm about to start doing it again because I just can't. Like, I just can't keep going to the store. I can't. So I stayed up last night to make an order and then it just got here. I gotta put back on my nails. It's but I'm gonna show you guys what I got because I got a couple new things. 
I got some rice. I was thinking of using these with my meal prep. It is the cilantro lime rice. I really like the light, the rice from um, Chipotle. So I got these, the cilantro lime rice. They are vegan and gluten free. They are 10 ounces of rice. It's two packs, keep them frozen. It kind of reminds me of the Trader Joe's rice. So I have this one and then I also got the Spanish rice style. So just a bag of shrimp, some turkey bacon. I got two of these salmons. I thought I only got one of them, but I guess I got two of them. So okay, whatever. I got two of these, some tortilla chips, the blue corn tortilla chips, sea salt. Again, a lot of things that I get are the same. So, tortilla some light tortilla flour i'm just trying to be really cautious about what we eat because i know it is expensive we all know groceries are very 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 expensive but i still am just trying to be precautious especially because like there's a lot of things and a lot of meats and all that and it's just always something on recall like girl I got some santa cruz if y'all know about santa cruz santa cruz raspberry lemonade i got the raspberry one. Ooh, i usually get strawberry but i got raspberry this time kids wanted some just like regular croissants so i got a three pack of croissants some brioche burger buns these are like burger buns they're kind of small actually but they're going to be used for um like our sandwiches and stuff that we have i got some vegan chicken like slider sandwiches so i'm going to use those drum tomato pasta this was $1.99 so i got two of these and then the last thing i got is some brown eggs some brown eggs let me see if she did a good job okay yeah she did a good job she picked out the eggs perfectly so that's all i got these braids are too long i don't know i'm just about to go relax after i put this stuff up shower jaw down i just got the shower got dressed right dressed as in lazy girl t-shirt cardigan and my sweatpants because that's all we're giving for today today is just a lazy girl day and y'all know how i feel about lazy girl days i feel very much very much excited about lazy girl days like taking it in and y'all that body cream hold on this body cream why nobody told me about this why nobody told me about wash me whip body cream mm, it smells so good it's vanilla and tuberose vanilla and tuberose it smells so good i think i pronounced that right but it smells so good literally i think this was like 10 bucks i'm not even joking i think it was like 10 11 dollars at walmart way cheaper than my fenty way cheaper than a lot of body creams that they have out right now and it just, it just feels so good. I feel so moisturized and I just feel like it's giving. Like I'm upgrading my shower routine every day and I'm not even mad at it. I freaking love taking, I'm y'all, listen, ladies, listen up. Take your time in the shower. Take your time in the shower, in the bath. I don't care how many products you use, use them all. Use them all. 
you never doing too much. Oh, my shirt is backwards. <sighs> it was literally backwards and I can't, I can't. That's like OCD to me. Like I can feel my neck being tight. <sighs> That's better. But like I was saying, you guys, use all the products. Use all the products. You're not doing too much. Use all the products because it just makes me feel so good. And I love that I'm becoming like this self-care, skincare guru. I love it. I love that product. I'm not even breaking the bank because I'm staying within budget and within reason, okay? okay? I'm about to end the vlog, but let me show you guys what else I got because we're talking about being in the house and what I mean, hold on. I went to Walmart and look what I got. First of all, look at this big bag of turtles. Okay, so I purchased a bag of turtles and for some reason my family ate them all. I was walking inside my pantry and I saw a bag of turtles and I was like, oh yeah, let me take a few out the bag before they eat them all so that I have my own stash. Girl, when I went into the cabinet, there was only one turtle left in this bag and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to buy me a big old bag to myself. Mm -hmm. Love turtles. So I got me a big bag of turtles and then I look, look at these pajamas. Y'all, y'all think y'all think I'm about to really be on this skincare, healthcare, well care journey. I'm gonna call it well care because it's not just um like skin and stuff like that. It's just like wellness in general. But look at the pajamas I got. How cute are these? They remind me of like Valentine's Day. They're pink and they have like the polka dots and they're black. I just think they're so cute. They have a pocket. Do the, I wonder if the pants have pockets. Oh, the pants have pockets too. The pants have pockets too. Okay, that's dope. These were $16.98. I got a small, I didn't see an extra small, so I got a small, but that's okay. Cause I feel like Walmart stuff runs big. Like this top does not look like a small. It looks like a medium or something, but we're not complaining. We're gonna wear our nice pajamas. I feel like this is perfect for Yup, Valentine's Day. <laughs> I feel like this is perfect for the time. So February is gonna be like the month of love. Really all 2024, but definitely 2024, girl. Don't be surprised when you see me in my pajamas with my chocolate, just living it up, okay? Extra, extra, extra on the extra, okay? But anyways, I'm about to hang these up so that I can save them for later. I'm ending the vlog because I literally have nothing else to do like it's not even like i don't want to sit here and talk to you guys i love you guys of course but i don't want to bore you right i want to have reasonable content thank you guys for tuning into my vlog i thank you all for just enjoying this video diaries with me i'm hoping you like it as much as i do i'm loving um editing and just being creative because it's like bringing out my creative side okay all the little things i add in the video is just like really getting my creative spiders tingling even though it takes a long time okay all these edits take time <laughs> okay but it's worth it y'all are worth it so i thank you so much and thank you so much for all my new subscribers i get comments of like hey i just uh subscribed to your channel Thank you so much. I hope you stay, of course. So welcome in. If you haven't already, just go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you like what you see so far, join me on my wellness journey for 2024. Because we're getting more in 2024. So go ahead and join if you would like to. I was going to say something else to you guys, but I forgot. But anyways, I love you guys. And I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.